The end of 2018 is going to be a very important time for films. For starters, we'll be one year clean of any emoji-related films. But it will also be the end of the 1998 Copyright Extension Act. See, as far as I can tell, the US has had copyright laws for about as long as the country's existed. Copyright being defined as the exclusive legal right to print, publish, perform, film, or record literary, artistic, or musical material, and to authorize others to do the same. Meaning, if I publicly played all of the copyrighted movie Fly and Ryan, I'd get in a lot of legal trouble. However, if producer Roger Corman, who owns the copyright, showed it, he's allowed to, and he could give me permission to show it, generally for an agreed-upon fee. There are some exceptions to this rule, like fair use, but that's a different discussion altogether. However, if I played all of the Corman-directed Bucket of Blood, I'd be perfectly fine because this film is public domain. Meaning there is currently no copyright, at least not in the US. But most public domain movies became that way through misfilings or simply not caring to renew it. What we're concerned with today is films like Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. See, copyrights weren't meant to last forever. They were meant to last a while, after which these works would become public domain. And for most of the lifespan of the film industry, that was 75 years, or the death of the copyright holder plus 50 years. But in 1998, the very face of greed, childhood, and releasing the same fucking movie over and over and suckering us into it every time, the Disney Corporation and Troll One star Sony Bono led a suit to extend the length of copyrights another 20 years. This wasn't anything especially new, as the length of copyrights has been getting longer and longer and longer, but as of 98, this had only actually affected films once in 1976, which also helped to define fair use. That one was also pretty universally commended, while the 98 Extension Act was seen as having greedy intentions, namely Disney trying to keep Steamboat Willie from the public domain. The Copyright Extension Act of 98, also known as the Sony Bono Act or the Mickey Mouse Protection Act, extended the copyright 20 years, meaning, let me check my math here, at the end of 2018, films from 1923 will become public domain. Now, Steamboat Willie wasn't actually released until 1928, meaning Disney technically has another five years till their mouse becomes community property, but I don't for one second believe they're gonna let him go without a fight. Maybe not 2018, maybe not 2019, but it's coming, believe you me. But what I don't think Disney realizes is... Things have changed since 98. The internet is bigger, more of a culture, and the internet is very anti-copyright. And not just because we're a bunch of degenerates who want our entertainment for free. The internet and copyright holders have been on bad terms since they took down Napster, but the advent of YouTube and Viacom's subsequent attack on YouTube has resulted in a culture that I'm sure would love to see these companies taken down a peg. Now, Disney has money, and they're far from the only people who stand to lose money from this. So, maybe we will get 20 more years of copyrights. But, their days are definitely numbered. They have abused their privileges long enough, and I for one hope to see this Copyright Extension Act come to an end. Oh, hey guys, I'm on camera for something totally the opposite of the heavy political shit I was just talking about. Uh, it, I didn't plan ahead. I don't have a Christmas movie to review this year. Uh, I was planning on doing Christmas quickies on Kirk Cameron Saving Christmas and Santa and the Ice Cream Bunny. Uh, but now I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Um... One of these I'm going to do a full review of. I'm definitely leaning towards Santa and the Ice Cream Bunny, but if there's big demand for Kirk Cameron saving Christmas, I'll do that one. Um, so yeah, just, just let me know about that in the comments. Um, have a nice day.